and yet another dry one for Arizona. Clear skies as always for Phoenix. Hey, misty storms, I know you love the weather, but... What do you mean it's not working? They took the batteries out again, assholes. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, you did it. You did it again, Joe. <laughs> Guys, can we get the plate one more time? Get another dry one for Arizona. <gasps> hey, Misty. <laughs> we honestly don't need you until it rains. I mean, it's Phoenix for a fake anchor's chuckle. <laughs> You're not even a real anchor. You literally get paid to say other people's words. Don't stop fucking with the teleprompters. Tell me from tech. Tell from tech. Tell me 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 from tech. Break our table? What the hell are you doing? I'm breaking the fucking news! I'm your host, Jesse, and we have with us the one and only ADH Dura. Dura? It's ADH Dura. I want you to get my name right. Why did you decide to come on air? There's one thing I hate more than a liar, and it, to, to be honest, it, it's a blind believer. You know, all these conspiracy theories, I looked it up myself. They're claiming I have daddy issues. I don't have daddy issues. You must be referencing the overdiagnosis uh, conspiracy by uh, Dr. Leon don't Eisenberg. Be, don't is be spreading that fictitious jargon on my national television. I don't think that's fictitious at all. According to the Center for Disease Control, 6.4 million kids are diagnosed with ADHD. Well, that's that's worldwide. You know how many fucking people there are in this world? That's actually in America alone. Yeah. American kids, 6.4. Where are you getting your credible sources from? I don't understand what you can do with your job. Do you even do a fucking job? Why are job? these kids being so heavily diagnosed? Hey, Where is the money going to? Is it going to you is what I'm asking. Ah, right, you need to calm down. No, you are giving these kids dextroamphetamines without even knowing if they even have ADHD. What's your point? My point is, why? Is it because you're getting all that money? Okay. Are you a good guy, sir? Are you a good guy? Or Maybe. are you just another pharmaceutical rep? Maybe another if, one. If you could listen for three seconds. Can I get three seconds? Maybe five. It's five seconds. You can get five, five seconds, seconds, sir. That's fire. Okay. Maybe if you could understand that the educational facilities need the pharmaceutical industry more than we need to evolve the outdated school system into the workhorse I make it today, then you would probably also recognize at the same time that you need ADHD because you're just another one of them. Now it sounds like you're uh, channeling your inner Walter White. <laughs> Fuck those guys <laughs> taking all their money. Now I'm not quite sure if I'm understanding this right, but it sounds like it's an awful lot like a Breaking Bad script. Look, all I'm saying is that this medicine is best for the kids, regardless of what the doctor's pay grade is. They do good work, and if they get hooked, it's on them. Good afternoon, everybody. Quickly, please take out your textbooks, your pencil, and your notebook. I want you to turn to page 360 in your textbook, and you are going to quickly write down the definition of a metaphor and a simile. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I am going to put a question up on the board. I want you just to think about it. Don't tell us the answer yet. Just think about it. Here we go. Your question is, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players by William Shakespeare. Just think about it. What is it? Metaphor! I told you not to blurt out the answer! I 